guys, Jason with Half Pinter Garage, and we have a 1975 Ford F250 Camper Special short bed. That doesn't actually really exist, and so, but we made one exist. Uh, we had a super cool guy uh, from Wisconsin. Uh, he's had this truck. Uh, he drove it a little bit, and he realized it wasn't really fun to drive a lot. So he saw that we were uh, working with Portabilt. We're uh, coming out with new chassis for these. Um, and we were swapping them over and he was interested in converting this thing over. Initially, he thought he'd keep it a long bed, but I kind of convinced him that, hey, if you're gonna put some money into this thing, let's make it a short bed because it's gonna have a lot more value for you in the end. Uh, he can take the emblems off uh, if he wants to, you know, make it look more like a, an F-150, but I actually think it's kind of cool just leave it the way it is. We even left the little elephant ears on here for uh, hauling a trailer. It's very unassuming. Um, I love this truck because it has kind of an original factory colors. Um, it's lowered just a little bit over stock, but yet at the same time, we've got these cool old school looking American racing wheels that you could have bought probably in the last 20 years. But he wanted to be able to drive this thing every single day if he wanted to. And so in order to do that, he wanted to have good suspension, he wanted to have, um, rather than you know a gearbox and lowered and uh, lower twin I beams, he's like, let's just do new chassis. Let's get a power steering rack, upper lower control arms. Let's make this thing fun to drive. And so, um, so that's what we did. So this started with a, a brand new uh, Porter built chassis that we put together, and we made it work. And we did a lot of cool little things to it. Um, so I'll pop the hood real quick, and we can kind of show you underneath what we've done. So right here is a brand new Gen 3 10 speed automatic uh, crate motor from Ford Racing. And so we supplied the motor, the drivetrain, um, we supplied our new radiator, uh, we supplied our new brake booster package, our windshield washer fluid. So a lot of the things that are underneath this hood are things that you can actually just purchase from us to make your own Coyote swap just a little bit easier. But uh, so all this is brand new under the hood. Um, everything is set up and put in a place and location that if you need to service it, you can. So um, you got your washer reservoir sits right there. You got your ECU sits right here. Easy to plug all the wiring in because on a, on a Mustang, your ECU is right here as well. And so you don't have a lot of room. And so if you're using the Ford Racing Control Pack, it kind of forces you to put it in this location unless you want to actually uh, cut the loom back, try to fold it back, and maybe get it underneath the dash. It, you can do that, um, a lot more work. You'll spend a day or so uh, prepping that, making sure it's right. But honestly, right here, it works pretty good. Uh, this is uh, the fuse block uh, that you get with the control pack. And so you'll power all that up. Uh, we've got your battery, your Optima battery, and then your power steering kit and all that stuff. So again, um, pretty straightforward. It's got air conditioning. Um, and it's made to just, it's made to go. It's made to be driven. It's made, uh, you know, really to just drive it every day. I mean, you got a 2000, you know, 20 Mustang GT 10 speed automatic. You got 480 horsepower. I'd say without the cats and all that other garbage tuned and everything, you're probably close to 500. And so the reality is, is you've got a pretty fun truck to drive. Um, and honestly, um, it's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you for a ride here shortly, but let me show you inside. Now, if you look at the truck, it, it kind of has this vintage feel. And so we really wanted to create a nice vintage feel. And so if you check this out, we've got some really beautiful leather that we purchased from Relicate Leather. Um, it's kind of that distressed aged um, look. And then we, we, now keep in mind, this is an original bench seat but we took all the springs out of here because if you hit bumps, it's just like a trampoline. And so all the springs have been removed. Uh, we put a piece of uh, plywood that we bolted down to the bottom and to the back, and then we took and foamed it. And so we put a little contour shape in the foam, um, set it all up so it's you know still soft, and you can sit in it, but it's not gonna be springy. You've got a new steering wheel that we got from Sparks. We've got Dakota digital gauges. We've got the Restomod AC. We've got the retro sound radio with a little wireless Bluetooth. You've also got a little USB charge port right there if you need that. And then we built a little tiny, um, this just sits here. It's Velcroed, 
but it's just a console that we just designed and put right there so he could have uh, drinks and set his phone right there and have a little bit of uh, storage and uh, it's removable if he wants to take it out if he needs to have someone else sit in here he can and so um, new kick panels we do have um, right here you've got uh, in the door you've got some six and a half inch uh, Focal speakers and then I think we can show this behind the seat we've actually got a pretty nice setup you got some eight inch Focal subs and and an amp by Focal, and so he's got um, a lot of uh, sound that he can pick up out of this, and it sounds super clear. Uh, it's Focal, it's a super good brand, um, and that's basically, you know, as we're trying to build these trucks, we wanna make sure that it's, it's clean, it has a good, good sound system in it, but also a clean sound system. Nothing, nothing too um, cheap, uh, people, really don't want that cheap sound they just want good quality sound we got a good dash pad that we've actually taken and wrapped we actually put some uh, french seam stitching right on the top there and honestly it feels like there's a not a lot going on here but there's so much that's been done to make this truck what it is but really what we're shooting for is just something that feels uh, more restrained nothing over the top it's um simple clean and um, very easy to just look at it and say, oh yeah, this is a nice truck and not feel like, like, oh my gosh, look at all that stuff they did. It's crazy, it's over the top. So um, you've got uh, the Fat Fender Garage LED light. And of course we put a little bit of the diamond stitching up here and we matched the sun visors as well. And uh, you know, pretty cool. Well, let me show you about uh, the bed a little bit. So if you look at this bed, this was a long bed and we actually left the back the same. This is the section that was cut, and this section back here was trimmed on this corner and cut and curled back over, and then this was all welded back on. So the, the amount of work that had to be done was pretty straightforward and simple. Um, a little bit of paint touch, touch up was done, but um, very minimal. We want to basically at this point, um, you know, take a look at the truck and uh, most importantly, I think, I think we should go for a drive. I think that's the best part about it. This is as original looking as we could keep it. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about the rest of mod is they make uh, an exact fit. Um, controls and so um, you can see their little logo right here but it's made to fit right in here um, this is a retro sound radio um, kind of traditional looking um, you know it, it works connects with the radio, you know the speakers and it's Bluetooth and wireless and so that's kind of cool um, we'll start it up here and you can see the Dakota digital gauges lighting up um, these are red-ish pink. You can actually make them any color you want. I guess they're a little bit orangish looking, I guess, but you, you can change it to any color you want. And uh, when you pull the lights on, they go blue. So <laughs> you notice that. So y there's so many settings in here that you can control. And the cool thing about it is you just do it on uh, your phone. It's just an app and you just change all the, all the colors. And so, Anyways, um, so we're gonna go for a drive. Uh, I guess maybe I should buckle up. Safety first, right? All right, let's go for a little cruise. my foot in it all the way. Just trying to keep it in between the lines right here. We'll get on it a little bit uh, a little bit later. One of the things that we like to use is we like to use the Flaming River steering column. Um, if you notice we don't have an indicator on here and that's because we choose to uh, use the Dakota Digital and it tells us right here what gear we're in. 
oftentimes there's a little bit of conflict when you try to put the indicator on your column um, and work it on the dash it's a little bit of a conflict they don't always jive and so just get rid of it on the column and it's a little bit better but you can, it's it's very responsive if you saw that so we're using a brake booster and a master cylinder to stop but you can get 12 13 14 inch rotors uh, we're using an 8 inch brake booster and uh, seems to stop well this truck has 12 inch uh, rotors on it and it feels really comfortable um, but it, you know it but it goes like the coyote motor is it's really special we'll give a little gas here if you notice as we're going over these bumps that if I was in a regular bench seat, I'd just be like bouncing up and down. It'd be crazy, um, but it's it's pretty smooth. Now we are riding on coilovers, and so you're going to have a little stiffer feeling. Uh, we do make the same uh, chassis setup lower, and you'll be about six inches off the ground. And then we also make it with air ride, and you can let all the air out and lay frame. Um, the air ride actually is a little bit more comfortable ride. It's a little smoother because you are on air. Um, it does take away some of the extra uh, bounciness that you might feel in a coilover. But uh, it's also more, a little more finicky because you got to worry about airlines and, and making sure they don't leak. And uh, you always got to have air uh, all the time. This, you don't need air. You can just get in it and go. So. It's pretty fun. We have, uh, oh, I think we're 1,200 miles on this truck. We uh, like to put about 1,000 miles. We try to get to 1,000 miles um, and make sure that we feel really comfortable with it. He flew out here from Wisconsin, where he's from, and he drove the truck for a couple days. He made a little list of stuff that um, in his opinion that you'd like to just have taken care of um, touch up paint on a few things and whatnot but it's very easy to drive like I, I can drive it with one finger one of the other things we like with this column is that the cone on these is two inches shorter than a Dakota digital so it allows us to kind of create some space so I can Feel like I'm I'm not you know I, if it's two inches closer I'd be driving it more like this and so it just gives the you know pushing your steering wheel away and just feeling like it's not up in your chest uh, the flaming river really helps with that um, not that Dakota builds a bad product it's just the design of their product actually uh, just has a bigger cone so this is just one of the reasons why we pick what we pick um, we'll do a little bit of a burnout right here. We won't do a big one, um, but just to kind of give an idea of um, uh, what what the truck feels like from kind of a standing, um, we'll just kind of roll and go, but uh, we want, we'll turn the AC off so we can actually uh, hear the motor and whatnot. So, uh, all right. Third gear still chirping I had to lay off it a little bit because we started to get a little sideways and I didn't want to record anything on a video that uh, looked like a Mustang video <laughs> we'll do one more little loop here Our little speed bump they put in the road there it keeps you from going too fast on that road. Uh, I'm not sure whose marks those are, but we'll make a fresh set. Uh, 
I can't keep the pedal down all the way. I've got to kind of feather it, and kind of come off it a little bit. Otherwise, it's, you know, we may lose control. This has got a lot of power. We could use a little more tire back there, but normal driving, I think you're pretty good. Well, I think that's probably it. Um, I think everybody should caddy swap every pickup truck out there. Uh, we're going to actually start uh, getting into the Godzilla, uh, Godzilla motors here shortly. But um, the reality is, is it's 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 fun. Um, they're fun to drive. Um, if this was just the regular motor and suspension that this truck was born with, it's still cool. But um, you, you can't drive it all the time. It's 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 too difficult. It's too much work. And. Uh, this you can get in and you can go anywhere and you can cruise you know three or four hours away and have a good time in it um, it's made to be driven so if you if you got an old classic pickup truck and you're thinking to yourself what do i got to do to drive this thing every day um, call us up we'll get you a chassis we'll get you the parts you need we sell a lot of the parts that uh, um, you see in this pickup truck so try to make it as complete of a project as we can so that you can just you know, get it, swap your sheet metal over, and uh, get a shop to help you wire it up, whatever you need to do. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed it riding along with us um, and uh, seeing what we do at Fat Fender Garage. Uh, we do this every single day, and, uh, and it's also fun every single day. We love it, and uh, we're excited to get this back to uh, Jesse, super cool guy. Um, he's excited to get it. He's getting married in a few weeks, and uh, um, and he's uh, going to be able to just drive this thing. I think he wants to drive it to work every day, but, uh, uh, but super cool. So uh, hope, hope you follow along with all the stuff we have. We, we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, we've got a YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely subscribe to our channel. There's going to be a lot of stuff uh, down in the, in the comment section uh, where you can look and find a lot of the parts and stuff that are on this truck. But uh, link to our website and also link to our chassis. And so um, until then, and the next truck, we'll see you next time.